So Cashier gives you the best quotes for your iPhone, so check them out next time when you're planning to sell your old phone. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us what's the story behind this mock? Sure. So I am Caden Burton, I'm 23, and this is the 6th Marines assault on Mount Yeitake, part of the Battle of Okinawa during World War II. So the story basically, the Marines are assaulting here from two different sides to force the Japanese up to the peak of the mountain and we can use our naval and air power to essentially win the day. Um, there's a lot of different details here depicted as accurately as possible. Reference images were a little scarce to come by when building this, but it came together pretty well. I see. I think we can agree uh, that the mountain on the uh, left is the centerpiece of the smog. How did you manage to make the terrain so it goes this smoothly? So it's a lot of vertical building with the dark gray slopes, but it's also a mix of a lot of the net, Lego net pieces to build essentially units of flexible landscape that allow me to blend this kind of more natural curvature to, to the side of the mountain. I see. As we move inside of the mountain, how did you manage to make all those different tunnels? So the cutouts were what I built with the framework of each base plate and then formed the rest of the mountain around it. So these tell the story of essentially the second side. So you have the Japanese forces doing all of the different things you want to simulate with their cave emplacements. Um, the one up towards the front there, you can see the gunner all the way down that is then apparent on the front of the mock as well. So. They were the framework of each section to tell the story from that perspective and then everything else kind of flowed around that. I see, as we move downward, I see lots of different lights from machine guns and tank fire. Can you tell us how you wired in all those lights? Sure, so all of these products are from Light My Bricks and they helped out immensely with sourcing all of this for this project. There's a lot of different effect boards that they have for both flickering effects for the explosions as well as gun effects for the, the various machine guns and things you see around. Uh, each base plate is wired to one spot and then there's one cable that runs out of each plate. So when they get set up and connected to each other, all the cables get plugged in and they run to the power that I can reach from the back of the mock. Okay, because this mock was so big, did you have any difficulties with some parts of the build? If so, how did you manage to resolve them? Uh, it was pretty straightforward, pretty sturdy. Building the mountain was the, the real trick to make sure that the build sections were going to stay together uh, to be able to travel, but this is the fourth show it's gone to. It's survived over 3,000 miles on the road at this point, and it's, it's still standing. So, Thank you very much for your time, and hopefully we'll see you next Brook Fair. Thank you.